Hi friends, this is a refresher and or an instructional video to show you how to set up your Zoom conferences for parent-teacher conference. So you wanna to go to zoom.us, you do not wanna to go to your app, you wanna to go to the browser, zoom.us, click sign in. Um, you do not wanna put any info in here at all. I have something saved. You just wanna click the G for Google. Now you click your name and it brings you right to your meetings. You wanna schedule a meeting. You might have some saved, but it might be easier to start from scratch than to fix something, but we can discuss both options. All right, I'm gonna call this parents. I'm not gonna give it a date because there's two dates. There's December 9th and there's December 15th. So I'm going to go to recurring meeting because it very well likely could recur on the 15th if not everyone gets in on the 9th. No fixed time. All right, so it's a recurring meeting with no fixed time, meaning you can start at any time. We, the meeting ID will generate automatically, no template. I'm not going to use a passcode. I'm only gonna use a waiting room. I'm also not gonna require authentication to join. And I'm gonna to have to go in my settings and ensure that that's off in my settings also, but it's definitely off for this particular meeting. Um, if parents wanna join from their phone, that's okay too. And let's check our options. Um, I'm going to not mute participants one entry. I do that for my students. Um, I don't want to block anyone and I don't want to record it. So, um, and I do not want to allow participants to join anytime because we're going to have a, a schedule. So I'm going to save it. And for if you have um, someone who you are having meetings with for whatever reason, you can put them as alternative host. So I'm gonna click copy invitation as this is how I'm gonna make sure that everything's good to go. I'm gonna to go to my guest browser and paste the link. I'm gonna, I don't wanna use the app. I can just join from browser. I'll allow my video and audio. And then um, I'll click my name. And if you see the, the subject or the title of the meeting has not started that is what you want to see because the meeting has not started if it says only authenticated users can join then you need to go back in your settings so this is what i want to see but um maybe my settings are perfect here but in my zoom settings um if I have the word authenticate, if I search for it. So we want to enable this, this is good. Um, and we want only authenticated users can join. We do want this disabled. If it is enabled, let's see, that will block our, so there's these two things. If authenticated users can join, um, that will not be helpful to our parents. They'll be blocked from our meeting. So if I try it again, all right. This is what parents will see. So you want to make sure that it says the meeting has not started yet. Because this doesn't even care when the meeting starts. It's saying you can't join at all. So again, we want to go to our settings and disable. Only authenticated users can join. This one up here too. And then you're good to go. And I'm going to triple check that that link works. The reason I'm doing it in a guest browser is that I'm not, nothing saved. It won't, it won't acknowledge me on the Concord system. Okay. Awesome. So this is the greeting you want to see. The meeting has not started. All right. So I hope that's helpful. Have a great day and happy conferencing. Bye.